Hi, I'm Extra Yogurt, and welcome back to yet another speed build. Um, today, we're gonna be working on Flower Patch Lane again, just like last time. Um, if this is your first video, then welcome. Thank you for checking out my video. And uh, we're just building a neighborhood. We're building a custom neighborhood called South Valley City, and we are going lot by lot. Um, like I said before, you can find all of these lot speed builds on my channel, except for one, which is one that I did on stream. And they are all up and available for download, either on Mod The Sims or on Mediafire. Anyways, so y'all, I really impressed myself with this house and I'm not even kidding. Like I am in love with this house. While I was taking the screenshots, I was just like, wow, like you really did that. <laughs> I'm not even sorry about it, but I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I do. Um, I I really wanted this neighborhood, um, I wanted all the houses to have their own personality. I wanted it to be very like different and it's like you drive down the street and you're just like, whoa, look at that house and look at that house. Um, I know these days, at least where I've lived, a lot of the houses can be very cookie cutter, which is cool too. Like, um, that's totally fine, but that's just what I wanted to capture for this neighborhood. Um, I love this house so much. I love the color scheme. Uh, the layout I think is, is really, really nice. It flows very nicely. I've been really getting into like this whole, um, second level entrance deal and I think it's been working out for me so um also I wanted to say once again I say this all the time I really appreciate y'all's comments it all means so much to me um as we all know I think we all love the sims too and can really appreciate when when people are still making content for it um So I've been thinking about an idea for a video for um, when we hit 500 subs. I, and I mean, we're si right now as I'm recording this, we're sitting at 2, 2.30, which is amazing to me. Like that, that is so crazy to me. <laughs> but I was thinking when we hit 500, I want to do this kind of challenge. And correct me if this is a challenge that's already been done or already exists. I thought I came up with it myself. Maybe I didn't, but I wanted to do something like build a whole neighborhood in a day type of thing. Like in 24 hours, like build an entire neighborhood, like every lot you can think of. Would y'all be interested in that? Would that be a cool video? It would probably have to be like two or three parts, but like... I was thinking that I could like start a new custom hood and obviously it might be kind of sloppy but the whole challenge would be to like finish it in one day um, for me that would be insane like to me that's a challenge I don't know what y'all think maybe give you give me your opinion feedback or like what do you think we should do for 500 I don't know I'm I'm very grateful for all of y'all subscribing like that's so crazy to me y'all get on here to listen to me talk and build like that's so cool but anyways let me know if that's been done already I don't want to take credit for something that someone's already done but I genuinely like just thought that would be really fun um yeah so anyways this this uh it this dark wood reddish wood I can't remember the name right now but I don't normally use these colors, which which I think is why I was so excited about this build because I was like, this is definitely something different for me. Um, and it actually turned out really nice. I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I really don't know if the exterior looks crazy or it looks really good, but to me it looks 
really, really cool and really good. Um, while I was building this, I was just thinking like, oh, people are gonna love this or hate it and think like, what are you going on about? But let me know what y'all think. I know you guys have probably noticed that I've been going crazy on the videos like upload after upload and it's been so much fun and honestly the reason it's been like that is because I am dying to finish this city like I really want it to be done not because I'm sick of it but because I want to see it completed like in in totality like I just know it's gonna be beautiful and all the screenshots I'm gonna take are gonna look so cool. And then we're gonna get to do the neighborhood tour video and um, I think you guys are really gonna be impressed. I hope so, I hope so, that that's the goal. Um, but yeah, I love this interior, that wooden, that those wood, <laughs> that the wood planks, the wood floor. Um, I don't usually use that. I say this about every, literally everything in the game. I don't usually use that, but it fits so perfectly with the theme, the theme of this house, the dark wood. Um, and, and if you guys watched my last build, the 170 flower patch lane, then maybe you remember that I said like, oh, this house has cool tones, so I'm gonna use a dull flooring. These are things that I kind of think about when I'm building. Um, this house has warm tones, so I wanna use a bright, vibrant flooring. Um, that's just kind of like the little things that go through my head when I'm building. Uh, sometimes I, sometimes there's no reason, but as y'all know, I, I try to, I like to justify everything for no reason, like nobody asked, but I do. Um, here I am doing some landscaping. This has kind of become my style of landscaping is the layering technique. Uh, I think you can't go wrong. Like it just looks so nice. And it's also very good for people like me who aren't great at landscaping. Um, it's very straightforward. You don't have to think about it. You literally just pick colors that look good together and make a little design and it it turns out just looking like a very well manicured manicured um, landscape or yard. Um, when I see people's yards that look like this in real life, I think it looks great. So, um, yeah. Also, I was just thinking like, assuming that you guys are really, really into building stuff as well and like making cities and stuff. Um, whenever y'all travel somewhere new, do you ever like, do you really heavily inspect the architecture because i love doing that i always do that i'm so quick to make a comment on the architecture of a city on like whether it's terrible or whether it's good um and let me tell y'all boise idaho i don't know if y'all have ever been boise idaho has some of the worst architecture i've ever seen i don't know who is to blame it's it's so funky it's 
it's really, really, really bad. I'm sure there are some nice buildings there, but everything I've seen is, it's awful. Um, now on the flip side, Utah, just, I don't want to name a specific area of Utah, but I guess like Salt Lake City, Utah is absolutely gorgeous. Everything, I mean, all of their, I was about to say community lines, <laughs> All of their um, all of their buildings uh, complement each other. From the, the houses complement the grocery store. Like the grocery store complements like the um, the gas station. Everything looks really amazing. So um, yeah, let me know if y'all do that too. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm talking so much in this video um, more than normal it's the coffee kicking in um I went I went kind of crazy with the um the shelving in this house which I don't know like I've done this before I've added shelves like to one of my apartment lots but I guess I just forgot it was something I could do and now I wish I could kind of go back and add shelves to all the houses but I don't know why I didn't think like, duh, the Sims can use some storage or like something to put their, like, you know, put clutter objects on. So I went a little crazy with the shelves, especially in the bathrooms. Um, I made sure to put shelves above the toilets and above the tubs. Um, Cause you know, like you could put toilet paper there, soap, shampoo, uh, whatever CC you guys have. Um, yeah, I think it looks looks really nice. I also love how things just perfectly match each other in this game. I think that is very satisfying. Um, but yeah, uh, also I'm gonna I'm touch on this topic again. The fact that uh, the house is not furnished. Um, the house will be furnished when I move Sims in, I promise and uh it's gonna be really fun to do that part but for now just regular move-in furnishings um i imagine that that loft up there is gonna be like an office area like maybe maybe like an author lives here or like a couple and they're both authors and they live here and so they have a whole loft just dedicated to their writing and books and stuff like that um and then maybe they have, maybe they have like two kids and they just, you know, shove them downstairs and they're like, don't bother us. And that's why it's like completely separate from, from the rest of the house. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this house just, it's, what's the word? Like the vibes are good. The vibes are really, really good. The ambiance, everything. I am really excited to actually use this house. Um, if you guys don't don't follow me on Tumblr, you really should because that's where I'll be posting a lot of screenshots. That is where I post like all of my screenshots from my videos and stuff that I'm building. Um, yeah, and I'll be posting like screenshots from my gameplay and stuff soon. So if you guys don't have a Tumblr, then you know, like this I guess this message isn't for you but if you do you guys should check out my page um yeah so last minute decision for me to add those closets I think it looks really really nice um added a nice touch made it feel less empty and here we are I will um I'll be back after the screenshots and close out the video
all right so thank you guys once again for tuning in um i look forward to uploading the rest of flower patch lane um and uh, making more progress with this city don't you guys just love this rooftop patio that's like the perfect place for like parties or like your sims telescope and stuff or whatever um but yeah thank y'all for watching stay tuned for more there will be more very soon if i manage my time correctly i can get out two videos today but we'll see um i'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the screenshots and i'll see you in the next build bye bye